Today we'll be going over Bloomberg Terminal and how to operate the software. Bloomberg is one of the most prominent financial software packages in the industry today and is used by many leading financial institutions such as investment banks, hedge funds, asset management firms, and research firms. To have the software installed here at the UD is honestly a great opportunity for both students and faculty alike to get hands-on experience with what professionals are using. When Bloomberg opens up, you're agreed by the main screen, which I've defaulted to functions for the market under the new setting. At the top of your screen, you can see your recent activity on this terminal, uh, your new messages, as well as the settings panel. Just under the gray bar, you have your command bar, which is where you type in specific commands or functions. And these are pretty much instructions for what you would like the terminal to do. Collectively, the entire database is very extensive, and you can access as much information as you want about the world economy and the financial industry. I'm going to hit the menu button two times to bring us to the main screen and from here you can see the different categories that you can access. The first thing that I want to point out is news which can be accessed by clicking number 13 news and research. Here you can access a variety of different things such as news on Bloomberg which pulls up all relevant articles from the Bloomberg website and other related websites audio video which brings up media files as well as conference calls for your specific companies company news Bloomberg calendar and the search functions the most powerful search function in my opinion is NSE new search if I hit that I'm presented with a search bar that I can use to look up news related to a specific company industry etc so for example if I wanted to look up Apple I just type in their ticker first on the list and from here I can see all related news sorted in chronological order but you can adjust that in any way that you wish another thing that I want to mention that is related to news is BI Bloomberg Industries type in BI into the command bar and from here you'll get to a screen that shows you all relevant information regarding industry trends and developments so if I wanted to know what's going on in semiconductors I would just click on technology, semiconductors, and from here I can see all the major shif shifts that are going on in the industry today. And I feel that this is very useful in analyzing industry forces and seeing how those forces will impact a particular company. The next thing that I want to go into is the command stat, S-T-A-T. This gives you global statistics regarding the economy and the financial industry. From here you can look at macroeconomic data, market data, energy and commodities, as well as tables and rankings for the big banks. So for example if I hit market cap, I can see how much of a global market cap that each country makes up. So if you take a look at the US for example, you would see that it makes up almost a third of the worldwide number. Uh, feel free to play around with the other areas of stat. It's all very interesting. To look up economic information, I would type in ECSD. This pulls up country-specific data. If I wanted to exa examine the United States, for example, I'd hit the icon, United States, and from here I can see all different kinds of macroeconomic indicators that can be useful for my research. GDP, sales, labor, money and banking, price indices, etc. If you type in ECFC, FC, you can take a look at economic forecasts. The data in the orange color is actual historical data, whereas the white text is forecast for the future. I'm going to cover equities and fixed income more specifically in other videos. So to wrap this up, I'd like to explain. Bloomberg certification and the process to obtain it. If you type in BESS or BESS into the command bar, you're shown the Bloomberg Essential screen. And from here, you can watch the core training videos uh, to understand how the terminal works and how to effectively navigate it. Completing Bloomberg certification, after all, is a way for you to show that you're adept at the terminal and doing well on these exams is definitely a major plus to your employability. The core exam, like I said, tests your ability to navigate through the terminal, but also covers the software's basic functionalities, 
news function, and other features such as Launchpad and its cross functionality with Excel. In addition to the core videos, there are also specific training modules related to equities, bonds, forex, and commodities, which each have their own videos and exams.